considering other people's emotions, your friend Kathy asked you to join her at her house party on Saturday and your friends will be there except Vari, who is also your friend. Vari has not been invited. This makes you feel a little uncomfortable because you are thinking about how Vari will feel. How do you think Vari will feel when she finds out? A. Hurt B. Sad C. Excluded and D. Angry How did you get to think about this situation? I bet you put yourself in Vari's position. When we see things from your friend's view, we call this empathy. Empathy is the ability to imagine how someone else is feeling in a particular situation and responds with care. It's important that we understand that others can have different thoughts and feelings than you have. It's also important to recognize the common feelings that most people have experienced. Happiness, surprise, anger, disappointment, sadness, etc. It is also good to be able to look at a particular situation, such as watching a friend saying goodbye to a parent who is going far away for a week, and imagine how he, and therefore his friend, might feel in this moment. And it's always good that when you identify how someone else is feeling, you say some words to comfort the person. When you saw your friend feel sad as he said goodbye to his parents, you could go to him and tell him it's going to be okay and that you are his friend and you will play with him. Let's look at the activity. Number one, you are walking with your friend and you pass a dog which is barking. You see that your friend is scared. You could ask, are you feeling scared of that dog? He is a nice dog but he is barking really loud. That can be scary. I walk past here every day, so I know he won't harm us. I will hold your hand until we walk by. What won't be very nice is laughing at your friend and calling him a scary cat. Let's look at the activity. Work with a friend in your class and discuss how you would respond in the following situation. Talk about the people in the scenario. What they doing? Is what they doing correct? How should the other person respond? Number one, your friend lost her favorite toy and cannot find it again. Number two, your friend's grandma has died. Number three, your mom is not feeling very well. Number four, your brother or sister has the TV on really loud and you are trying to do your homework.